Joe, can you help explain how lung cancers with EGFR mutations are treated? Yeah, I'd be happy to. EGFR is an interesting story. It is our longest available mutation. It's the first one that we identified that we actually had a treatment for. I remember when this first came out 20 years ago, it seemed like science fiction. And so we have, um, I would say, developed more knowledge around what we can do with each of our mutation, both in terms of the drugs we have and in the settings where we can use them. There have been a number of different treatments uh, developed, but one thing that has been different about EGFR and a lot of these other mutations is that they're actually treated with a pill rather than chemotherapy. When people think about treating lung cancer, usually we think about chemotherapy, but in reality, EGFR, like many of our mutations, we can actually treat with a pill that turns off the ability of the gene to function. While there are a number of them on the market, the most important one and the one that most oncologists would use um, is a drug called osimertinib. So osimertinib has been around for a while. It's been a very effective treatment and a really important one for treatment of lung cancer. Initially, these were really only for people with advanced lung cancer, so lung cancer that had spread outside of the lung or for whom surgery was really not an option because the cancer was too far advanced. And that's one area where this has really changed and that we now have evidence that using it in people with early lung cancer, so lung cancer where surgery was possible and has been removed, um, this drug osimertinib can be effective in reducing the risk of the cancer coming back. Now, as you pointed out, there really are two main EGFR mutations, the, the exon 19 and exon 21, and those are the two specific ones that osimertinib is approved for. The other less common EGFR mutations, there is an older drug called afatinib that's approved. Um, but, but as you pointed out, you know, we don't know if it's um, as effective in those more uncommon mutations. Now, there is one exception, and that's um, a different EGFR mutation called exon 20. And that one's different because we know that none of these pills work. And there is another drug that, that is relatively new that works in a different way. It's an antibody that binds on to this EGFR protein. So an antibody is a designer molecule that's injected intravenously. And that has been approved for people with that specific form of the EGFR mutation. And so the name of that drug is called amabantamab, and that has been a uh, breakthrough really for people who've had a specific form of this mutation for which we really haven't had treatment options in the past. Unfortunately, like many lung cancer treatments, um, drugs like osimertinib eventually can stop working. So cancers can develop resistance to these treatments. And so when that happens, um, then we have to look at other treatment options. There's a lot of research being done in this area right now. One thing that you'd want to talk to your doctor about would be getting a repeat biopsy because we know that sometimes the cancer can sometimes actually turn into a different kind of a lung cancer, or we may be able to identify how the um, cancers become resistant, which may inform your doctor in terms of different ways to treat it. Um, another option for many patients, too, would be going to chemotherapy, which can be effective for these kinds of cancers.